so guys you can see that that hc05 module over there is sending this data learn mcu and we had written it in the code let me show you the code as well see that here we are using sending the value whatever is in the value this is in the value learn mcu so that is being sent on the screen so this is simple as that See, it will continually keep on sending this data until it's on. So, I turn off the, uh, I unplug the power source. I am giving power from the picket 3. See, the transmission stops because the pick is off. So, guys, it's simple as that. Hello, guys. Welcome to Learning Microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send a string or text message from a PIC 16 f 7 a microcontroller to your smartphone using SC05 Bluetooth module. So let's get started. So guys, this is our PIC 16 f 7 a microcontroller having 40 pins. It's a DIP version. And this is our SC05 Bluetooth module having 6 pins. It has a button as well. So first of all, let me label it. The bottom most pin is the enable pin. Then we have VCC, ground, TX, RX and the state pin. Now this enable pin is also known as the key pin. In my previous video, I showed you how you can change the default settings of IC05 module using a USB to TTL device. So I will share the link of that video in the description as well. So we will go with the settings we did in that video. So we will not be using the default setting. We will be using the customized setting we did in that video. So you can refer back to that video to see how to do the settings. So this pin is also in some module is labeled as key pin. So whatever it is, just leave it floating. In the normal, right now we will be using IC05 in the data or a normal board. So in this case, we do not need the enable pin. Uh, it should be left empty or either connected to the ground. Now guys, this pin that is a VCC pin is our power pin. Then we have ground pin, then the TX, RX and the state pin like this. Now guys, let's connect it. You will connect the RX pin to the uh, to the TX pin of your PIC 16 f 7 a microcontroller that is pin number 25 of the PIC or C6 and for the TX pin of the SC05 you will connect it to the RX pin of the PIC that is pin number 26 or pin number C7 like this. So TX goes to RX and RX goes to TX like this. Now guys ground will go to the ground and VCC will go to the VCC. So this is simple as that. This is our circuit here. So let's uh, get to the hardware. Let me show you the hardware before we move on to the programming. So guys, this is simple hardware over here. This is our SC05 module connected to the PIC. And guys, this is the LCD that we are going to use. And this is our smartphone we will be using here. Simple as that. So let me, let's go to the programming now. So guys, this is our micro C for PIC. Let me zoom in so you guys can see better. So as you can see that it's version 7.2.0 I'm going to use here. You can use a higher version as well. If they are available, higher is always better. Click on File, New, New Project. This window will pop up showing New Project Wizard. Click on Next. Write the name of the project. I write Text Messages Pick to Phone Tutorial Learning Microcontrollers. So this is the name of the project I just wrote. And this is the path where it will be stored. And here select the microcontroller you are going to use. I'm going to use the PIC16 FA77A. So here we go. And the crystal I have is 20 megahertz. Now click on next and finish. Now guys, as you can see, this window will pop up. Before you do anything else, press Ctrl S to save your work like this. Now go to the right, expand the micro E libraries, system libraries. Here select the libraries you are going to use in this project. So one library that we are going to need is the UART library. Here we go. Now we go to the UART1 INIT. Double click. This window pops up. Here in the example, you can see that there is this command UART1 INIT9600. Click, copy it, paste it, and give some initialization delay. This is not necessary, but I always suggest you give it in the one time loop for the smooth working of your projects. 
So guys, this is the syntax of the command to initialize the UART pin of the pick. That is pin number 25 and 26, TX and RX. And this is the border. As shown in my previous video in which we set the settings of the XC05, the border that we, uh, we are using is a default border. By default, the border of the XC05 is 9600 in the data or the normal operating mode. So 9600 is the border we set. So we are going to use the 9600. Now guys, we have our UART initialized. Now we can move on to the forever loop. Click on while one, starting bracket here, ending bracket here. Now this over here is our forever loop. First of all, we will need to uh, have a text that we are going to send and we will send it over the UART channel. So go to this here, UART1 write text. You double click on it. This is the command we are going to need here. You copy this command in the example here till here. Sorry, not till here, only this if and ending bracket till here. Copy it, go back, paste it in the forever loop. Now guys, this command over there, if data is received, we are not going to need it. So you go back. Now you have this command here, uart one tx ideal. Now this command over here, you copy it from here. Now this is for the tx register, the command, this one is for the rx register. You paste it like this. Now if tx buffer is empty, now I add a comment. If TX buffer is ready, that if our transmission buffer is ready, then this command will allow you to enter into this loop to write the data and delete this. We don't need to receive anything. So this is the UART1 write text command. So what we are going to send is that we send learning, learning. So, okay, we send learn. MCU. This will be the short form of learning microcontrollers. Learn MCU. This is the text that we are going to send it to our uh, Android phone using our HC05 Bluetooth module. Now this text should be inside this double semicolon like this. Now whatever you send in this will be sent to the screen or you can also make a variable out of it using a char here. You can write like char uh, value and maximum uh, string character it can hold is 25 and then you can write here whatever it is learn mcu like this now this is also the same thing you can simply write the value here so we will try both so first of all we use this then we are going to send it then for a how after how many delay it sends again we give it like a, so this will send this after every two seconds like this so after every two seconds, it will send learn MCU on the uh, our Android phone. So we build this code, check for errors. There are no errors. That's great. Now we can write it. So we go to our Picket 3 programmer tool here. Select your microcontroller. Pick 16 f 8 is the one I'm going to use. Pick 16 f 8 This is the one. Click on file. Click on import hex file. So this is the file we just created. Click on write. Okay, the new code is being written. Let me zoom out and let's get to the hardware. Okay, the code is written as you can see. So let me power up the circuit from here from the Picket 3 device programmer tool. I click on on. Okay, the circuit is powered up. So our hardware is simple here. We only have this IC05 module and a smartphone. So it is connected to the PIC. There we have our PIC 16 a So you can see that we only have a smartphone here and a IC05 module. So you can see the blinking speed is very fast when the module is not connected to any device. As soon as it will be connected, the blinking speed will slow down. So let's connect it. So go to your phone, login. Now go to the Play Store. Or in the previous video, I downloaded this app over here. You can download the Switch Terminal from any Play Store. Or let me show you how to download. So it will be easy for you. So I uninstall the previous one. So we do it together. So I go to the Play Store. In the Play Store, write down XC05 only in the search bar. Or you can also download it from the Google. You can download any of these. These all are fine. All do the same. So this is the top one. I mostly use this. Click on Install. See the Bluetooth terminal. Okay, it's being installed. Wait. When it's installed, enable it. Open it. And give it the required permissions. Now before that, you go to your device Bluetooth. Here, okay, I disconnected the Bluetooth. First of all, you touch your Bluetooth. 
you enable the Bluetooth like this. Then look for it. Now this device is already paired because I had connected it previously. So your Bluetooth module will automatically connect to the last known device. So now it's connected here. Let me go into it. See, it's a paired device. See that it's saying paired device. I click on connect. It is connected. Now you go to the app. And in the app, go to the left. In the settings, there is device. Devices. Click on the devices. And refresh. And give it the necessary permission. Allow. See, our device is showing up here. This is the name we just gave in the previous video. Whose link will be in the description. Learning microcontroller. I touch on it. See, it is saying that it is trying to connect to the device. Okay, it's connected. Now see, our text is coming. Learn MCU. See, it is sending this text after every two seconds. See that it is the SC05 module being sending the text here. Now what I do is that. Okay, we are reading the text. Now we increase the speed of transmission. Let me zoom in. We, what we do is that we make this delay less to increase the speed of transmission. And instead of writing the string, I use the variable. I told you this will do the same. So let me show you how. So whatever is in this variable will be sent to the screen and that is learn MCU. So I build this code. Now this will be faster. Okay, we got an error here. Let's check why. Okay, that's void main. That is while loop. And that is our text. Let's see is it because of this. Okay, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. What is causing this error? Oh, I got it. In line number. Okay, there is some accidental sample. See this sample here, this is by accident. So you have to be careful. I think I accidentally pressed some key. So it's gone, the error is removed. Now we simply do what we were doing. We copy this here. This. Now let's build this. Okay, it's built successfully. Now I click on write. So this code will be faster. We will have like uh, only for half a milli, half a second delay when, when the new value arrives. Previously we had two second delay. So let's open the phone again. The new code is being written. Uh, this is the see during writing it also sends whatever the data is passing see now it's very fast it is sending data very fast so guys it is simple as that thank you very much for your time i hope you guys learned something from this video if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section so guys uh, thank you very much and uh, have a nice day see you in the next video